These are very interesting, aren't they? I can understand the first few lines perfectly. The writing is good. After that, the writing is very bad and I can't read it. Why do you think it's like that? Why do you think it's like that? Mr. Oldego wrote this uh, on the train and this, on this way to London. The good parts were written at station and the bad parts uh, were written when the train was moving. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Hong. But how does that help us with the case? Well, most people don't write their, their wills on trains. It seems that this will wasn't really very important to Mr. Oldacre. It was very important. His will is the reason he's dead now. Do you think that's true? Don't you? It's possible, but the case isn't very clear to me yet. Not clear? It's very clear to me. When my father knew about Mr. Holdeika Wills, he went to Norwood. He killed the Mr. Holdeika and then he burned the dead body. It seemed very simple to me. Too simple. McFarlane is not stupid. A clever man doesn't kill a man on the same day that he made his will. And the man's servants knew that uh, McFarlane was in the house. You know very well, Mr. Holmes, that a murderer doesn't always think very clearly just after his crime. It's easy to forget something like a stick. Perhaps he was afraid to go back to, into the house. What other motive is there for Mr. Rodeka's murder? I can think of many possible motives. Here's an example. A thief was passing the house and saw the two men in a room with papers. He thought that they had money there. When one of the men left, the thief came in through the window, then he killed the other man. Why didn't he take anything? Because he found only papers. There was no money in the room. Well, you can look for your thief if you want to, Mr. Home. But I think that Mafala was a old cat's killer. He had a motive. He was also the only person in the world who did not need to take anything from Mr. Oldeika's house. It was already his in Mr. Oldeika's will. I didn't say that you were wrong. I only wanted to show you that there were other possible motives for Mr. Oldeika's death. And now, goodbye Mr. Oldeika. I will probably see you at the with later today. I'm going to black it. Why are not good? Two strange things have happened, my friend. And the police are only thinking about one of them. The first thing was the strange will. Why did uh, Old Dacre want to give his money to McFarlane? Uh, I'm going to find out. Do you want me to come with you? No, it isn't necessary. You can't help me. There is no danger at Berkeley.